Joo, ainakin nyt tuntuu siltä, että pistolta olisi kyllä voitu, voitu saada täältä sitten ansaittu tai ei, mutta ainakin sellaiset fiilikset, että ei ole ikinä, ei ole ikinä hauska hävitä tuolla tavalla, että se vika minuutti, että, että ei, ei ehde eikä pysty siihen niin reagoidakaan, että se on, se on vähän, 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 vähän tota, sellaista, mitä voi, voi syödä miestä, jos näin sanotaan. Kuitenkin aika hyvä alku 2-0 johdossa ja, ja muutenkin niin kuin ekapuolen aikana, niin olitte aika hyvin pelissä. Joo, me tiedettiin, että ne tulee kova siinä alussa ja, ja meillä oli suunnitelma, miten, miten tota puolustaa ja jos ottaa huomioon sen, että muutama vaarallista kesoja murilloin ja pari kertaa, että ne pääsivät, mutta ne ei keskeltä päässyt läpi, että et saatiin Gaskin hyvin niin kuin pelistä pois pojat. Uhrautu ja teki hyvä duune alaspäin, vähän niin kuin puuttui malttia siitä pallon kanssa, eikä puolella, toka puolella puhuttiin siitä, että pitää uskaltaa niin kuin enemmän myöskin liikuttaa ja saada vähän niin kuin, niin kuin sillä tavalla omaa peliä, peliä vähän niin kuin enemmän käyntiin. Ja, ja sitten saadaan se 2-0 ja, ja mä en tiedä miten se sanoisi, jos sit euforiassa sit unohdetaan niin kuin se, se tärkein juttu, että pitää sitten Gaskin niin kuin, pelistä pois ja sitten yhtäkkiä mulla on kaksi hyökkää tuossa meidän vasemmalla reunalla prässämässä ja, ja pallo pelataan keskelle ja sitten siitä eteenpäin ja sieltä syntyi se 1-0 ja sitten vaan vauhdista tulee se 2-0 siinä ja sitten on joku 50 minuuttia, mistä tuntuu, että nyt, nyt tästä ei ehkä hyvää seuraa. Tehtiin pari vaihtoja, myöskin SIK ehkä teki siihen samaan aikaan jo, jotain vaihtoja. Sitten lopussa en tehnyt enää vaihtoja siinä, kun pojat näytti siltä, että ne halus jopa enemmän ja uskalsi jopa enemmän nää se vika 10-15. Ja, ja me todettiin siinä penkillä, että mieluummin sitten näin, että jos me haluan tosta nousta, sitten on pakko jossain vaiheessa rupeaa voittaa pelejäkin ja näin. Et sen takia me oli ok, että nyt pyritään niinku saada se, se 3-2 ja sit se, se tota menee sitten toiseen suuntaan ja, ja sellaista se on. Joo, yksi kysymys oikeastaan, äh, jos unohdetaan lopputulos, mutta katsotaan sitä pelillistä anteeltä, pystytte esittämään. Oliko tämä sun mielestä niin kuin askel eteenpäin nyt kuitenkin teidän joukkueelta? Äh, en sanoisi, mun mielestä pelattiin ihan okokin honkaa vastaan ja, ja näin, Mut, mutta ainakin suurin osa pelistä pystyttiin niin kuin puolustussuuntaan myöskin tota seuraa pelisuunnitelma, myöskin se eka maali eka puolella, että Tilanteen vaihdossa, kunhan vaan saadaan pelattu niin toiselta puolelta toiseen ja sitten joko onko siinä Ofori, Murillo, Kemppain, kun siellä pelaa niiden taakse juoksu ja sitten mieluummin katvekko keso, koska siinä on, on, on SIK ollut niin kuin aikaisemmin havoittuvissa. Et, et se oli niin kuin, vaikka siitä veto on, on upea ja ei siinä mielessä niin, kuin niin hyvä maalipaikka, mutta se oli niin kuin, miten oli suunniteltu. Kiitos. Don't we make it difficult for ourselves, do we? Um, <laughs> it's, uh, we've gone through everything in that game. 100 minutes of football in there, and, and the lads have gone through everything. Frustration, control, happiness, goals conceded, goals scored, um, a little bit of everything. Today, um, it is clear, like it is clear that that is something that we had to take out of ourselves. Um, and I, I, I do believe that we have done that today. Um, it, it was always going to be a difficult game. This uh, seems like a pattern that the teams are dropping off and making it very difficult for ourselves, keeping a lot of numbers, waiting on counters, and we know that that, that is tough. And we've got to be we've got to be patient at times. We've got to be direct at times. We've got to be together. We've got to stay positive. And, and of course, at the back of the uh, period that we've had, is that it's always more difficult. But the character that we showed. Um, not accepting what the uh, faith was uh, was giving us um, uh, is remarkable. Um, you know, I probably don't remember any more chances um, than the two goals. Um, <sighs> so, <laughs> at the moment, we are our worst enemy, um, and I think we defeated that today. Um, and I will allow us to, you know, we it was very important to today to. To add points on the table, uh, we had that very clear. Um, the game became very, very difficult, um, out of nothing, and and we managed to to get it back. Um, and then winning it at the end is a, an extra plus. But we we are, you know, very satisfied with that game, uh, with how we finished. Uh, we are know that we got to be better. 
in some things, but it's just like it's stupid to keep talking about the same things or stop because it keeps happening. So we just got to make sure that we got more, even more tools, even more uh, dimensions to to our game to make sure that we're ready for it. And if it happens, and you know, we we go all in as we went and try to get it back. But um, very pleased with the result. Uh, it makes us uh, secure the uh, third position, which is a massive thing going into the split. Uh, you secure three home games, um, and uh, you know uh, we we are going to get from um, from the regular season what we deserve. Uh, we deserve to be top three. Uh, that's what we set up to be, and you know fighting it very very hard on every minute of every game. We we have got we have got that. So now. We will free a little bit of ourselves, and then we go. We go for it. Six games to go. Everything is open. Um, we'll keep fighting until the end, and uh, we know what we want out of this season, and we'll get it. As we say in Spanish, by like civil or criminal. So we will do whatever we need to do to get it done, um, and that's what we did today. So um, uh, very, very pleased. Time now to. Um, Release ourselves to have a couple of days off. We're not playing until Sunday and, and uh, enjoy ourselves. It's been a hard uh, uh, period that we had to get through. To. All right, thank you. Then we did. Yeah, you had a four game losing streak before this, so how relieved you are, like honestly, after winning this? Because you know, <laughs> they are last in the standings and you kind of are like, you must have been this game, basically. Yeah. Is uh, if you imagine that like, you can see in my in my face, you can see not just in me the relief for me, but the relief from them. It's been massive. You can see at the end how much it means to them. They've been trying the best. We've been stretching ourselves to to the maximum, uh, and we know that we got to keep doing that if we want to be competing where we are competing. So um, it is a relief. It is a massive relief. Um, it gives us a lot of space and, and, and time now to get into the last. Uh, Massive part of the of the season to to go and be ourselves. Like we just got to be ourselves. If we are ourselves. We will fight for everything. We will compete against anyone, um, and, um, and and we will be where we deserve. That's the important thing that we get what we deserve. I think today at the end we, we got what we deserved. Uh, was winning the game. So um, that's that's the uh, call it mantra or, or mentality for for the next of the season. We are going to get what we deserve. And Jere Stränger, he obviously scored the last goal, but what does that tell about him as a player? Do you, do you know, stand up there and score the goal? You know, it wasn't like an yeah. easy one. You know? Two minutes before, I was very frustrated with him because he got <coughs> caught outside because he was on his heels. Uh, but uh, with him, we've been saying it, it was really, really hard. Um, now at the moment, it's not enough working hard. You have to make it happen, and you have to perform in games. Um, you know, and it's been a couple of times where he's played because he deserved. He was training better than everyone. Uh, but then sometimes in games it hasn't happened for him. Um, but again, what we've been saying is like he's so young that he's. It's like all of them. They keep learning. They keep uh, getting better. Some of them are, are higher pace or slower pace, uh, but they're all getting better, um, and, and that's. That's what we've got to keep focusing, not just to get our results, but make sure that we keep strengthening our players and our uh, club uh, for the future. One more question about the golden goal-dating situation. Uh, obviously, always uh, when he left, that was a big loss for you guys. But how do you see the, these two guys, Christianis and Mikel? Like, are you worried a bit or are you trusting these guys? Um, <laughs> We trust them because uh, they are the ones that go to play. It's not going to be a miracle here. There's not anyone coming in, so um, we go to make it through with the players that we have. Uh, when we um, score goals, we score goals as a team by pushing together. When we concede goals, it's because there are things that, could, that we could have done better as a team. Uh, and keep talking or, or fog. <laughs> Ovio did very well when he was here, um, he did his service, we helped him to develop and get better himself, uh, he's not with us anymore and we got um, um, our players here that we got to work with them and make the best out of them and the important thing is that we, when we review and when we look back into performances and games that we, that we not just as simple as going well we consider goals, okay yeah. We, we know, but why did we concede those goals? 
um, it's not just uh, the goalkeeper's um, job to stop them, it's for everyone to do. So as far as we keep um, objective and make sure that we got some good uh, perspective in why um, um, or how we could um, you know, uh, reduce the, the, uh, the amount of goals that we concede will give us a better chance going into every game because we know that we can score goals. Um, we've been doing it all season. It's just that it's a little bit too difficult when you have to score three goals or four goals to win football games. Um, yeah. Um, am I worried? No, I'm not worried. Um, it's, uh, for us as coaches, our job is to um, work and help and guide uh, the people around us as a head coach, more people, not just players, but staff, to keep getting better. Um, you know, it's easier to when things go well and everything goes perfect to enjoy and to put the face. You know, like we, I enjoy as much the part of the job that is when you everything is going to plan and everything works perfectly to when the times are, that you're not, because you get yourself, myself, out of the comfort zone to be doing things that prioritizing or um, uh, analyzing and um, working together to try to get better and that's our job as coaches so um, you know we we'll try to uh, go deeper into how we, we, we analyze analyze everything and that's why you will get us over the line and, and get the results and, and keep improving the players in the way that we want. Thank you. I have uh, one question about uh, Otto Kempainen. Otto Kempainen made uh, his first ever goal uh, in Wake Up League today and he was chosen uh, the best player of the pitch today uh, also also by, by the uh, like a, like a Wake Up League uh, board they, they, they saw that and also also as he goes on. How you see Otto Kempainen he made the really on, only debut for Wake Up League a few games ago so, so. Yeah he's a, he's, a, he's a good reflection of um, us as a team, uh, us as a club um, you know, the kid has got such a huge potential. Like many of the players that we've got here, the ones that are playing, the ones that are not, they're all here because of a reason. Uh, we've seen something in them and we think that we can help them develop. Um, sometimes we do our best and they do the, their best and sometimes it's not enough. Uh, there is time, you know, you, you learn from your mistakes and you keep improving and you keep talking about it. Uh, a lot of the time is in there and we time it comes today. Apart from the goal, it was a very, very good performance. Much more positive performance, um, a lot closer to be fulfilling the potential. That's the standard, that's what you shouldn't get back. Um, a little in, in the week, we had a conversation with the uh, under 21s uh, head coach, and I could see why he wouldn't get picked. But I can see why he will get picked in the future. And that's what we've got to focus on. Um, today, he did very well. Uh, we just got to make sure that he keeps the consistency uh, in all the things because he's got. Oof, he's got a lot of going for him. The same way that some others we've talked about when you know he gets highlighted when they do well and they perform well, but they, you know, they all got something, and we just uh, got to keep guiding them into the direction to be fulfilling and enjoying themselves like he's done today in the in the game. All right, thank you. And in regard of the team spirit, um, after that tight win against the supposedly weaker uh, team, do you prefer? Prefer that kind of win, or would you have preferred like a three-nil win in, in regard of the, the spirit of the team? In, uh, For the good of my health and my heart, I would say that I will, um, a win is a win. You got to be adding points, and today was about. Um, it's been too long to be talking about what we haven't done well, what we should do better. But it, it was time to like get things on, start talking about it, and get it in action. Um, of course, like things happen, and then you have to deal with it. I think it would have been very easy for the team to go down and to um, put their head down and accept the fate that we were we were having during the game. Um, but you know, showing the character to get it back, to keep pushing, to keep fighting, to keep uh, running until until the end. It takes um, it takes a lot, and that's the type of group, the type of people that we want around the place uh, to be showing that. So. If I, again, if I could choose, uh, but it's not about way, about way of doing it. For a team spirit, now it gives us like we've released something in ourselves, and, and today they got a couple of days and they got to join themselves, spend a little bit more time together off the pitch. They've done it during the week uh, with a couple of activities, 
they're doing it again today. Um, and uh, that's what we got to to keep focusing because at times it won't be technical or tactically or a lot of the time it will be ourselves and our heads that will keep us pushing through and be able to be as competitive as uh, as we've been all throughout the season. Thank you.